In this video, we are going to solve the simple city of challenge from Try Hack Me. The challenge is very good to learn practical pen testing for beginners. So, on Try Hack Me, open simple city of room and start your machine. Once you get the IP address, copy it and move to your Kali machine. Now ping your machine. And we do have the connectivity. Now let's just scan the target with nmap. Dash SS is for stealth scan, SV is for version enumeration, and dash O is for OS enumeration. So we have three ports open on the target port 21, 80, and port tetra 2. So on try hack me, the first question is how many services are running under port 1000, which are 2. The second question is the service running on higher port, which is SSH. Now we need to find the vulnerability on the target. Let's repeat the nmap scan with the vulnerability script. Just use the parameters dash dash script vul and repeat the scan. Now open your web browser and browse to the website. And we can see that there is default Apache page. Let's try to visit the reports file. There is nothing important here. Now let's try to boot for the directories and files with fpuff. Let's use the command as shown on the screen. We are using secklist to boot for the directories. So FF has found one additional page called simple. Let's just visit it. So it is made on CMS made simple and if we check the version which is 2.2.8. Let's just search for the vulnerabilities in CMS made simple with such ploid. So there are a number of vulnerabilities, but we are particularly interested in SQL injection vulnerability that is applicable on versions all less than 2.2.10. So our nmap scan is also back and there are a number of exploits and vulnerabilities in the target. Let's just leave these vulnerabilities for another day. Now let's just download the SQL injection exploit with such exploit. So our exploit has been downloaded. Now let's just open it. And you can see the CVE number as well. Just copy the CVE number and paste it in try hack me. Now we need to exploit this vulnerability. Just try to run it and we have some libraries missing and the script is also written in python 2. On github I found python 3 script for the same vulnerability. Just copy the code from there, open a new file and paste the code. Now make it executable and run the script. So the exploit requires a URL and the words list as parameter. Just provide the URL and use the join list as a word list. And press enter. Now it will try to boot force the password. So the exploit has found our username which is Mitch and password as well which is secret. Now let's log in with SSH. And we get a shell.
So let's answer the question on try hack me. What's the password? We have already found the password which is secret. So where can you log in with details obtained? We used SSH to log in. Now let's just cat out the user flag in the target machine with cat command and paste the flag on try hack me. Now let's check other users that are available on the machine. We move to the home directory and we see that there is another user with the name of Sunbath on the machine. Just answer the question on try hack me. Now let's try to escalate our privileges. Just use the command sudo l to list our sudo privileges and you can see that we can run vim as sudo. So we can use Vim to escalate our privileges. So let's just check the GTFO bins. How we can escalate privileges with Vim. Search for Vim. So it provides different methods to escalate our privileges. Just copy the first line and paste it on our target machine. And you are automatically escalated to root. Now let's just move to the root directory and get out the root flag. So copy the flag and paste it on try hack me. And we have successfully completed the simple CTF from try hack me.